there's a lot of customization you need to do to build this. So I'm going to show one quick example. Um, so first, what this actually shows, uh, it's a really interesting report to build. So we're looking at how often or how many impressions we have at each of the top 10 positions on page one of Google. And then we have page two here aggregated and then page three and so on. So when you look at just one uh, chart, it doesn't tell you much, but the real value in this is actually comparing this period versus the prior period. So we're looking at the last three months versus the prior three months. So here what we see is position one impressions have improved slightly. Uh, they're up about 2000 from the previous period, but then we're starting to see a lot of growth in position three to 10. Uh, if we look at position three, we, we have 11,000 impressions. The previous period, we only had 4,000. So you can really start to see how your visibility is trending at all of these positions. Uh, and this is also really valuable as well, page two to six. So you're not gonna be getting traffic on page two or three, but a lot of times when you publish new content, you may not be seeing any traffic increase for a few months, but typically what we'll see in this report is page two to page five impressions are starting to go way up. Um, and that'll tell us that those pages are starting to get indexed, they're starting to rank. And ultimately, as we get some of these impressions onto page one, we're gonna see a big boost. So it's a really good way to report on new content before you're actually at the point where you're getting a lot of traffic. Um, so there's kind of two ways to look at it on how are we doing on page one, but also are we building up our page two to page six primarily through new content, uh, which gives us opportunity in future months.